Hey Disco friends, this is Tatiana and I've got some great news. Live Mobile App Beta Build for iOS is officially available if you have an iPhone XR or more recent. Live offers a very easy way to record mixed reality videos without a green screen. An iPhone or an iPad with an A12 chip or better is literally all you need. A very similar technology was implemented by Fabio Dell'Antonio who developed an iPhone app called Reality Mixer which also allows you to record mixed reality videos without a green screen and I've covered Reality Mixer in several videos on my channel in the past, including the video that explains how to create an augmented reality effect. The quality of the recording is quite similar as well and so far the major advantage I've noticed in Live is that during the calibration you don't need to hold your camera still. Your calibration won't be lost even if you move the camera and it's very easy to create even more fun and impressive mixed reality videos. However, Fabio's Reality Mixer is filled with many different options options to play with, such as augmented reality recording, so definitely check out that tutorial as well. But for now, let me show you how to record mixed reality with Live Mobile app using nothing but your iPhone. Remember to give this video a like and subscribe to Disco VR if you're enjoying this video and if you're ready, let's go! Live iOS is up on test flight, which is used to help developers test their beta versions of their apps. You can test the app by clicking on the link you got in your Live invitation email, and if you haven't, I'll include the link in the description. Make sure to open it on your iPhone or iPad that you plan to use for your mixed reality recording. Here you will first install the test flight app, and after that, tap here to join the beta Live iOS. Then click install and the app will open. Make sure to give it permissions to connect to other devices and start testing. Here in the app, when you click continue, you can select either watch mode or mixed reality mode. Select mixed reality and now we will need a companion app installed on your Quest 2 called Live Connect. You can search for it directly in your headset or you can simply tap on install and the Live Connect will open in your Oculus app and you can send it to your Quest from here. I already have it downloaded on my headset but in your case this button should say download or free. Tap on it to send the app to your headset. Now when you put on your quest, you will see Live Connect appear in your library, so go ahead and install it. If you check back with your phone, now it says put on your headset and open Live Connect. So do just that and in the app, allow its storage access permissions. After searching for your phone for a few moments, it should successfully connect to your phone or iPad and you will see this window pop up. Place your headset on your forehead so that it remains active and get your phone. Now you will need to calibrate your controllers as shown on the screen and this is for the easiest calibration I've ever seen. All you need to do is place your right controller exactly exactly where the green circle is and pull and hold the trigger for 3 seconds. Make sure that you're not covering the back camera with your left hand while doing this. The more precisely you align your controller with the outline, the better. And you're all done! Since the next step is setting up your camera, now is the good time to find the right angle for your gaming surroundings based on where you want to place your camera. And recenter the view, because if you recenter it while you're already in the game, it will mess up your MR settings. Now, while still having your headset active and remaining in your play area, place your phone where you want it to be to record your MR gaming. My favorite thing about this is that at this point your calibration is complete and you can actually move your camera freely without messing it up. You can use this feature to to create moving cameras effects for your MR recordings and they look really cool. When you're done, click confirm and you can review your frame. Here you can recenter the surroundings once again until you're happy with what you see in the camera, but I think it looks pretty good the way it is right now. What's funny is that you can actually see the position of your phone in the VR while in this app. But now you're all set and you can go ahead and close Live Connect and start any Live mobile compatible app you can see here on the screen right now, but I'm sure that this list will continue to grow so I will leave the link to this list in the description for you to track it for updates. Beat Saber is the most common game for MR, but I just want to show it to you really quickly because there is one thing you need to do first. Go to Options, Settings, MRC and toggle MRC Beta to allow mixed reality capture. Without this step, you won't be able to record your mixed reality videos. 
And now walk back to your phone, tap on the screen and then on the green button that says start game and finally tap start. Now you can see the gaming environment and at this point you can also start recording on your screen. And that's pretty much it. You can move your phone if you want to adjust the angle but overall you're ready to make your MR recording and it looks really decent. You could see that I had a green screen just because that's where I record my gameplay videos but I didn't have to crop anything and it will work with any background, not necessarily green screen so you don't have to have it to make it work and it's pretty amazing you can see that this app blurs the edges of my outline so it's not as clean and sharp as the mixed reality recording on your PC but considering it separates you from any background it still looks very impressive Okay, enough Beat Saber, let us try something different. It's important to remember that when you want to start a new game, you will need to restart your mixed reality. So I will need to quit the game I'm currently playing and start a new one, for example, this beast of a game called Smash Drums. And then I will walk to my phone and tap on the screen to start a new game. And that's it, we are ready to rock. And here's how you record mixed reality videos with nothing but an iPhone. Please remember that this is the first beta build of Live and the app might not work perfectly at all times. For example, I had to recalibrate my controllers a few times during the setup to make sure that they reflected in VR properly. And there were some small glitches here and there, but it looks like the quality and the accessibility of mixed reality recording will be getting only better and easier from here. Still, definitely check out my reality mixer tutorial as the app also works really well for mixed reality without a green screen and to record with augmented reality effect. You might notice some differences in the recordings in both apps and trying both of them will help you decide which one you like better for making MR recordings. Please give this video a like if you found the value in it and consider subscribing to Disco VR for more fun VR content. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and as always, happy gaming.